Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 25 of the FIFA 21 My Player Career. Uh, Manchester City currently top of the Premier League table, Leicester City just behind them. And then you have the usual big clubs, Liverpool, Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs, above Derby County who are the surprise package so far this season, up in 8th. You have to say, with them being in 8th, we have had a good start to the Premier League season so far after just 10 games. Uh, winless Leeds United are at the bottom of the Premier League table, so it's looking tough for Leeds. I'm sure they will be able to fight back a little bit. and uh, Plenty of games remaining, of course. But let's jump into Game 1 then of today's episode. Derby County at home at the IPro Stadium, taking on Crystal Palace. Um, hopefully we can come out with the three points in this one. Um, as I said, we have had a decent start to the Premier League season. Kai's had a great start. Um, already got a bunch of goals under his belt. Hopefully we can add to that in today's episode. As Wayne really tries to play that one through there for Kai. But a good interception. And Crystal Palace are on the attack. They'll obviously be the favourites possibly for this game. But Derby are in decent form. Um, so you could probably give Derby County the favourites label for this match. Uh, but let's see, six minutes gone and it, all, and it has been all Crystal Palace so far. As Derby just win possession there inside their own half. And now Graham Shinney lays that one forward for Kai. He does have support. There is Wayne Rooney back in the Premier League. So he's going to be enjoying himself here. And he'll be looking to get himself on the score sheet in today's video as well. As that one's played far post, but I think... Tom Lawrence was offside anyway as that one was um, slipped through. Let's have a look. Just offside. Very, very close. Um, Derby though looking to try and take control of this game. All the early possession belonging to the London club. 6.9 match rating for Kai in the first 20 minutes as Crystal Palace trying to press forward. Good passing play here from Palace. Come on, Derby, get in there. Where's our defenders? Not the defenders, the midfield. Midfield are absolutely no way. Even Kai's had to charge all the way back. That's a cracking finish, that one. Um, one goal to nil then for Crystal Palace. And it is number 13, Mina, who gets the opening goal with a little bit of acrobat. Uh, Derby should have done better. No midfielder was tracking back there whatsoever. They were just letting Crystal Palace control the edge of the area. Uh, look at that finish. So one goal to nil it is. Sante Mina getting his third league goal of the season then for Crystal Palace. Here we're looking to add to that in this game. Hopefully he doesn't know. We need to get ourselves back onto level terms as soon as possible. As I said, we do have another game coming up in today's episode. So that's going to bring us to two games. And hopefully we can um, get six points. But it's not looking good right now for Derby County, is it? Kai is on a 7 rating, so he's just gone up a little bit more there, 7.1. Um, so he's not having a bad game at all. If we can create some chances, that's going to be even better. Somehow finds its way to Kai, and he pops it into the bottom corner. Um, I don't know if that took a deflection off the defender to go straight into the path of Kai, or whether Wayne Rooney actually did get the pass on it. If he did, that's a fantastic bit of vision there from Rooney. And obviously a good touch. Let's have a look at the full replay. Here is Wayne Rooney. I think it did definitely take a deflection there off the number six defender of Crystal Palace. But there is Kai scoring his ninth Premier League goal of the season. So he will be looking for um, double figures then in the league. If he can get a tenth goal of the season in this game, that will give Derby the lead as well. So fingers crossed we can get the three points. As Palace play that one through, the chances on... The goalkeeper forced to make a save there with his leg and keeps the score levels at Derby County 1, Crystal Palace 1. Oh, with his toe in fact, what a save that was from the Derby keeper. Crystal Palace close to going back in front here. Uh, there is going to be a change here as well for Palace. Um, James Ward-Prowse coming on in his place, former Southampton midfielder. So 7.5 match rating for Kai, 8.5 match rating for Kai, I should say. And that one somehow finds the back of the net and Crystal Palace lead two goals to one. Look definitely on their side for that one. And it is Sante Mina once again who has scored his second goal of the game. And now he's got half an hour to try and bag himself a hat-trick. Let's have a look. He hits it. Defender, he blocks it, and I think it was the same defender who actually 
Got a touch to the second uh, shot as well, which took the deflection and goes into the back of net. So, four league goals now for Santimina. Doubled his tally already in this game alone. And just under half an hour remaining here at the iPro Stadium. The score is still Derby County 1, Crystal Palace 2. Derby need to create something here if they are going to be getting anything out of this game whatsoever. Look how deep Kai has come for this ball. Uh, trying to get in amongst the plate through midfield. Here is Wayne Rooney then for the Rams. Sees the run. Finds his teammate. Here is Knight. Cuts inside towards Kai. Good control there from Kai. And Rooney has absolutely smashed it into the back of the net. It is now Derby County 2, Crystal Palace 2. What a finish that was from Wayne Rooney. Um, a good assist as well there from Kai. Just nodded it through. And Wayne Rooney just smashes it in. Let's have a look at the replay. It was a good cross as well. You can't take that away there from Knight. But there is the little touch from Kai. So he'll pick up the assist. That will be good for his overall rating as well in this game. Uh, but four Premier League goals for Wayne Rooney so far this season. Uh, a fair decent um, tally for him on his return to the Premier League football. Uh, 8.7 match rating for Kai as we head into the final five minutes here at the iPro Stadium. Is there going to be a winner in this game? Would be nice if Derby can steal it late on here. Uh, but right now it is Crystal Palace keeping possession. Um, staying pretty composed, being very patient through midfield. And now they are on the attack on this near side with Andros Townsend. He cuts the ball inside, finds his teammate looking to space on that far side as well. And shot is there, blocked. Come on, keeps keeper just let it go but the defenders are on it and now a chance for Derby to attack Kai he has support he's going all the way himself though a bit of a solo run not long left on the clock plays that one in the middle poor ball there from Kai and I think that is probably going to be the last chance of the game it is indeed there blows the final whistle then so a good game for both teams Derby having to fight back twice there to level things up and it does end 2-2 after 90 minutes and that will take us into our next game then of today's episode. And we are at um, Fulham in the Premier League. So they're currently 14th in the league. Derby will be the favourites. But of course with Fulham being the home team you never know what could happen. Uh, got some fairly decent players amongst their ranks as well. But here we go then at Craven Cottage on a rainy afternoon. Who's going to be taking the three points? We need to be taking them if we are going to be challenging for the top spots or even a European place uh, we need to go on a good little run of form but here is Kyle then looking for an early bit of creativity from him and a nice early goal would be absolutely perfect as well here for the Rams as it is Fulham going backwards been a quiet first half as you can see no goals to speak of yet no real chances for either team either and uh, not hurt, losing the ball and a possible counter attack at the end of the first half here for Derby County. Kai holding on to possession as we do press on this near side with Max Bird. Good ball, I think he is on side and laid inside there for Kai. Controls it, cuts inside and puts it in to the back of the net. Three minutes to play in the first half. Derby have taken the lead. Good play there from the Rams on this near side and good hold up play as well there from Kai. Just manages. Manages to get past the defender and then slot it home to give the Rams the one goal lead. Goalkeeper won't be happy with his defender there who just let him open up the space for himself here. And boom, nicely slotted home. Bottom corner, double lead, one goal to nil. And of course, that puts Kai into double figures then in the Premier League. He's having a cracking start to his Premier League career, isn't he? Ten goals already. Uh, we've given him the tally of 20 and he is really, really on course to meet that. Uh, pretty soon as well. It's hopefully going to help Derby in the long run as we do press forward here. Looking for a second as Derby do keep possession. Kai's in the middle. Space is there and what a fine finish that is. Two goals to nil. That's his 11th Premier League goal of the season. And I think that is going to be game over for Fulham. Derby looking good. Two goals to nil. Three points in the bag would you say? I would. Um, especially after that fight back against Crystal Palace. Um, so we, if we do obviously hold on, we don't want any fight back from Fulham. We will be unbeaten in today's episode. And as I mentioned earlier, we do have three games in tomorrow's episode where I'm hoping for more results like this. There is confirmation of Kai's 11th 
league goal of the season. 63 minutes gone, double league two goals nil. And now we do head into the final minute. And hopefully we can keep a clean sheet. Maybe still one more goal when we have enough time. We've got two minutes of added time remaining. Um, I don't think there's going to be any more action. I think, in fact, there's going to be a late change here as well for Derby County. I think it was Tom Lawrence coming on um, there for the Rams. I think, guys, that is going to be about it. So as we do head towards the final whistle, leave a like if you did like today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And there is the final whistle. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.